Pokies, Emily Valken here and I'm actually recording this video in Dalsland, in a nice farm. Here I'm in the greenhouse and it explains why we hear some chicken and ducks and other animals around the greenhouse. But that's not why it's important to tell you that I'm in Dalsland, it's because I want to teach you a tune from Dalsland. I'm sorry I don't have the map, I have a cucumber instead. Actually that's melon. Um, but yeah, Dalsland. <laughs> Dalsland on the map of Sweden is this tiny region very very close to Oslo, close to the Norwegian border, actually on the Norwegian border. It has been Norwegian many times and Swedish again and Norwegian again and Swedish again. Complex history. Basically it's the, that tiny region when you go up the coastline, well in your direction it would be go up the coastline from Malmö to Göteborg and then you go on to Oslo and at some point you kind of touch Dalsland. It's a tiny region that I don't know much at all about, especially not about Swedish music, folk music. I know just one tune. And I thought it was the perfect occasion to teach you that tune. Also because it's a tune I love, really. The tune is called Slengpåska efter Zacharias Jansson. It's from Kjellhult in the area called Dalskog. Um, Dalskog is also a place, but here it's about like the area, which is a forest area, very nice, actually pretty wild. And I actually was in Shellhull just some days ago, and I was super excited to be in the place where this tune comes from. Uh, there is nothing grand there, it's just a bunch of houses in a nice place, very quiet and so on, but for me it was like a pilgrimage. <laughs> I'm very excited about this kind of stuff, like going to where the thing comes from, but whatever. The tune is really easy, it's what I call a level 1, no climbing on a nickel harpa, but still it's a great, great tune. I have learned actually two times, uh, so I have two different versions of it. I have learned the first time from Marcus Svensson from Gotland on nickel harpa, and the second time from my friend Daniel from Switzerland on sekpipa. Well, he was playing sekpipa, not me. I still can't play this instrument, I would love to. Um, and now I have a tendency to play more the Sek Pipa version, so that's the one I'm gonna teach you, but I'm also gonna talk about the other versions and the variations you can do on that tune, because there are many and they are really great. I play this tune in G, starting on a D open string on the fiddle. A part. traditional ornaments.
have seen, you can just add drones. That's like the easiest ornament. And on this tune, it works extremely well. It's very modal tune. So you can add a G, open string on fiddle, or a nickel harpa, and a D on the B part, mostly. Um, so just play with the drones. They're really adding a lot of the, the feeling to this tune. And it's really fun to play and easy. And also, now I would like to talk about the other version. Here the rhythm is most like dotted, not all the way through, but in some places. You will see what I mean. Like this. It's dotted where I make silly faces. Uh, but you can actually also play it straight. And actually, when I learned it from Marcus Svensson, I think I remember it was straight all the way, or pretty much like this. it more and I suggest that you play along those two things I personally like to play more dotted but sometimes I straighten up some parts of the melody just to make a little rhythmical variation that is very nice so also feel free to play along along those things and there is also two possibilities with the kind of little ornament at the end of the melody so um, the version I just play now all the time is this one B flat G B flat G but what you can also play is B flat A, B flat G. In the sentence, for example, in the, in the B part. This is with the A. And this sounds actually with the A more usual to our ears, our contemporary occidental ears, but I don't know if it's more correct because it sounds more usual. Sometimes folk tunes are supposed to sound a bit weird. So maybe the G version, B flat G, B flat G version is actually more correct. I have no idea. I've heard both. So I just suggest that you play along with both and you vary and you have fun with the two of them. I personally prefer with the G because it sounds a bit less usual, kind of. But just play along and have fun. Also, I highly suggest that you learn to transpose this tune into other keys. Actually, on sec pipa I've heard it also in A. Not in G, but in A. And I think it's really, really good exercise to like learn to transpose an easy tune so you can play it in kind of all the keys. And it's pretty easy to play it on uh, different keys on fiddle. And you can also play it like with instruments not changing keys, like sec pipas and so on in different keys. Experiment with that and so on. Um, this is the kind of tune that is easy, but I think you can have fun even if you have played it a thousand times. That's my case. I still love that tune and I want to teach it to everyone. So feel free to share it with your friends and to play it a lot and to teach it to everyone you know. I would love to meet people who all can play that tune and so we can have a big jam together. Okay, that's my kind of crazy jammer part that is coming out. That's it for this video. Sorry for the babbling. Uh, I'm actually feeling a bit weird to record with the ducks just next door. <laughs> <laughs> but whatever. Um, as usual, if you have any questions or something you want to tell me, it can be related to the video or not, it can be related to Swedish folk music, more or less. Uh, as I said, I don't know about Dalsland repertoire. I'm sorry about that. This is the only thing I know about this repertoire, but other repertoires, maybe I know more. And also, if you just want to share your enthusiasm for something related to folk music, that's great for me. I love to have news from you guys, people. Um, and also, if you like those videos, if you would like to support them the way you want, like as much as you want, um, you can always do the usual liking, sharing, talking to your friends about those videos. And you can visit my Patreon page, which will be linked in the description down below. Thank you very much for, much for watching. Can't speak anymore. Um, I hope you will have a lot of fun with this tune, and see you next time. Hey, Dog Monkeys!